Welcome to this month's interview. I will be talking to Sean and Daniel, who worked on a film recently called Candlelight. Um, what got you into filmmaking? Kind of what's what's uh, what prompted you? Um, well, I suppose what really got me into filmmaking was I suppose I always liked storytelling and stuff like that. And uh, I mean, everyone has a camera nowadays. Mm -hmm. uh, so I guess that it kind of just started by that, you know, little short films, like a minute long or something like that, and then, you know, kind of started rolling into something, you know, much bigger. Okay. Even though it is still very small. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I think uh, what got me into filmmaking was um, the film Aguirre, Der Zorn Gottes by Werner Herzog. Um, it's very sort of primitive made. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, enjoy, I liked the way that was made. And then I started, I'd always been into photography, so... Mm -hmm decided to branch out into video making. And so have you guys worked on stuff together? I knew a guy called Owen who knew Daniel. Okay. And then uh, I was talking to Owen for a while mm -hmm. about candlelight and stuff like that. And um, he said to me, yeah, I know this really good guy. He's good at, with cameras and stuff like that. And then I started talking to Daniel through Facebook. Okay. And then I think Daniel, I think I met him at Christmas sometime like that. And uh, yeah, then I guess. Nice. Start working on it. Yeah, uh, I guess I should say for anyone watching, so you wrote and directed it, and you were the cinematographer, right? That's it, yeah. Nice. Uh, how long is it? Um, at the moment, about 10 minutes. 10 minutes, okay. And then give us a kind of a quick synopsis of the film. Uh, so Candlelight is set during the harsh winter, and it's about two characters who set out to investigate the afterlife. Okay. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> no, <famous. laughs> that's perfect. Uh, we did a previous show where I ranted forever about yeah. how people uh, tend to tend to just go on these super elaborate descriptions yeah, of their yeah. films, and you're like, just like six paragraphs, two sentences, long, yeah. exactly. Yeah, that's all we need. So perfect, because that you know gets you interested. You want to find out. Um, budget for the film. The show's called No Budget. I need to call in on a few favors. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I don't know how much it cost exactly. I think it was uh, might have been. 400 something like that okay. uh, saved up over a while I think the camera is the most expensive thing yeah. the sound equipment we had a, a road or something like that I wouldn't know yep. a whole mm -hmm. huge amount but uh, we used that and uh, yeah it turned out pretty okay so. mm. what did you shoot it with? 500D uh, was it? Yeah. Canon 500D a Mark like 3 yeah, yeah. okay nice mm. and then um, with the film how long uh, was the production when you were filming it? Um, I think it, was it was about Two well, two days plus one day in February. Yeah, you shot days. it in January. So, nice. yeah. so three days. It was kind of yeah. a set to be nice. built in February, so we just did that. Uh, what was the set? Oh, it was just like a, a shed, which his character was living in for a while. Okay. It's only in the first scene, so. Uh, okay, nice. And then what uh, what status is the film in right now? Uh, the film's being edited at the moment. I okay. think that shed's gone. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, the shed's gone. Yeah. It blew over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, kind of what, what's the what's the plan to do with the film like when it's done like um, get well, it into cinemas as soon as he's finished editing yeah. it, I think. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. July 30th I think is what we're looking at okay uh, are you, uh, since it's a short you're gonna do like festivals um, yeah okay without a box you know that maybe use that for a while or something I don't know okay um, when we were talking earlier you mentioned uh, the other gentleman Owen he had, uh, is working on a, is that right? The distribution yeah. method. Um, uh, it was called, uh, what was it? Film, uh, film Gorillas, right? Yeah. Okay. So tell us a little bit about Film Gorillas. Um, Owen had an idea of, he told me, setting up a YouTube channel for distributing films or yeah. something. And he started talking to Sean about it. And they, uh, what was it? Decided to change it into something else, more like a Facebook sort of a oriented thing. Okay. For, uh, young filmmakers funding new films and stuff like that. The the, the they fund the filmmakers, and and Owen's group they f they fund it and distribute it. Is that? Well, I think the problem is you see a lot of filmmakers they go in mm -hmm. and they you know they enter into a couple of film festivals and you know that's it. Yeah. But if you have one platform for all those short films beyond. You know, if one gets big, then the back catalog, you know, also gets seen. You mm -hmm. know, so I think it's better to have everything in the one place. You know, get the most amount of publicity in that. that so makes I sense. think that's the point of it. Mm -hmm. Well, we've been talking about the film quite a bit, so I'm thinking we should go to a preview, and then we'll come back and chat some more. <laughs> so, cut to preview.
So let's talk about uh, the future then. So you're both pretty young from the looks of it. Uh, what's the plan with the, with the future? Continue filmmaking? Well, Sean's written a, new, he's written a few scripts since I've met him. And um, he's singing Megan One in the Summer in country, is it? Yeah, I think about some, doing something in the countryside. I don't okay. know. It's kind of quiet and stuff. Like, you don't have any problem with traffic or anything like that, you know? Oh, yeah. No, I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's, uh, what's that about then? Um, well, I mean, it's still very early on, but uh, I'm thinking about the title is the most dishonorable tale. Okay. So something that has that meaning behind it, I guess. So is is the plan um, then to pursue filmmaking as a career? Well, I have to let. Like, at see what happens, you know? what, what, are you guys in university? I mean, transition year. Okay. Sixteen. Mm -hmm. then. Fifth year. Yeah. yeah. Seventeen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. So after uh, then, then is that the plan or? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I guess to see where yeah. the road, the open road, takes us. You yeah. Know? Nice. Yeah. Do you find like, because um, it's kind of an interesting subject about filmmaking now, where we have access to you yeah. know uh, cameras, sound, editing equipment, so that now. You know, it, it is a, you can get into filmmaking, and, yeah. you know, without a, a huge cost of entry. Yeah. Um, which I think is kind of an interesting mm, subject. Yeah. How, how do you guys find that? Like, um, you know, as a. You know, it's like the phrase, what is it, you know, easy to start off with, but very difficult to master. Yeah. You know, in sort of a way. Um, yeah, I think it's great that anyone can just, you know, it's so easy to just make a film or anything like that now, like back in. 70s when you'd have to have a budget and all that and cameras and film and yeah actors and stuff just Sh shoot it on actual yeah. film yeah. super eight like that. super eight yeah exactly um cool all right well it's been great talking to you guys okay um, Thank you. thanks for coming down on the all show right. and no uh, having us. and stuff and uh right. oh, much. shake it <laughs> all right cool um all right so that was uh sean and daniel whose last names i literally just forgot even though they just <laughs> told me but we'll throw it up on a little sub on the thing um, we'll also add a link to your guys' uh, Facebook page and a preview of the film. Cool. And uh, definitely wish you guys good luck on your uh, future filmmaking endeavors and all that good stuff. Thank you very much. All right, thanks. Thank you.